Okay. So, well, this is the Petpad AI. This is my final make space final project. Um, this is the index that we are going to address here. Uh, we are going to talk about a little bit about the problem, what which uh, potential solution or solution I um, program and, and did. And, um, and later on, uh, we will see how I built an, an a demo. And finally, some conclusions and well, something that uh, can be improved for this product. So the story why I choose this uh, this project it is because I was working in a, an e-commerce pet supplier. That it is Suplas, that it is an Europe, the best European pet supplier here. And uh, well, I was working two years ago and I saw I'm going to show you. Um, this is the web page, and uh, well, you don't have any assistant here. You can you have the search uh, to find uh, your products, or you have your contact form in order to contact with the company. But as you can see, we don't have any um, bot or something that uh, uh, related with the AI. So the, the idea here is uh, to provide this functionality to the website. For doing this, I choose this uh, bunch of technologies, uh, hugging face for deploy the whole thing. Face in very big, it is because it's mostly the core of the functionality with the vector store. Uh, Python as programming language, chain lead as user interface to talk to the to the, with the chatbot, OpenAI as the model and embedding, uh, wait and bias uh, to uh, find some metrics and also store and retrieve the, the index and JAMA index as a framework in, um, to uh, as framework. Um, uh, to bind all together. Uh, well, uh, I feel like uh, for this rack problem, because in the end it's a rack problem, I feel that the, the way that uh, data is um, handled by the, the libraries in JAMA index is more data oriented. So I find better for this uh, approach. The system. Um, as uh, the system context of all of this is quite simple. So uh, we have the software system, the PetPal AI, a customer that asks questions regarding the website. And we have some low data from uh, the sitemap. So I'm reading the sitemap, uh, getting all the information and creating the uh, web, web vector store in order to ask questions in our RAC system. In a more detailed uh, context, we have this. Uh, in the end, it's a Docker file that it is deployed in Hugging Face Spaces. A question of the customer comes to the system. Uh, before that, of course, it is the extraction of all the data and it, it, typical ETL. Uh, so when the question arrives to the PetPal AI, um, we have a, co a call to the embedding query. Uh, this embedding is uh, retrieved and compared in the vector store using the similar similarity. I need your help. Oh, excuse me, please mute. <laughs> okay, continue, okay. So, the question comes, uh, I query the, the face index. Um, this index can be uh, downloaded previously in the starting up from weight and biases, and all the metrics uh, logging uh, are stored also in weight and bias. And that's all the, 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 the chunks that are good enough are and insert it into the prompt. The prompt is called, uh, uh, we call the GPT 3.5 Turbo. 
returns the response. That uh, response contains a link, and th this link can be clicked in this case to uh, to navigate to the the thing that or the item that the the, the model uh, has retrieved. So that's it. Uh, let's go with the demo. So typical hi to serve. Well, the, the prompt that as I have uh, developed the, the prompt is only to I am only re, I'm re, um, taking always the the website root uh, uh, URL. For instance, let me go here. Yeah, I have some question here. For instance, this one. <clears throat> what can you recommend me for my cat? And uh, this link, it is uh, in this case the favorite uh, things from the customer favorites. Okay, that it is defined in the sitemap, and the model is able to retrieve that information. What else? For instance. Uh, we can write this one. Can you recommend the relevant toy? Cut toys. And this one that is, I think it is interesting, the last one is, for instance, from a stomach sensitive. And it is able in this case to goes into directly into the um, the uh, item in this case the pecking stones. And well, what this is amazing of this is is because um, in well uh, maybe I, I can I can tell in in, uh, in the next slide. Yes. So uh, the conclusions of, uh, are that um, it was amazing because I didn't uh, apply any special technique here in order to have a, a rack system working in an acceptable way. Uh, because, uh, for instance, I apply mostly default values for all this stuff. And I'm importing the whole page of every the product, so with the HTML, the JSON code, there are a lot of things uh, inside the, the imported uh, data. And it is amazing how the, the, the system works and how can find the, 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 the things that I need to respond to the, the customer. To me, it was a surprise, a very surprise. Um, well, it, it is related with the with the, I have just said that the face works better than expected. Uh, the index uh, took me uh, 400 megabytes for uh, 100 URLs, about seven minutes to take all the website with uh, level four level four detail of five that the Suplas has in um, in the site my site map definition. Uh, of course, it was easy to connect several text stack with bootcamp learnings. I, I learned a lot about that. And uh, well, the, what I have just said that the, the first load of, uh, of, of data loading with index creation uh, was a little bit um, expensive. For feature line, of course, apply filtering to data ingestion in order not to get all the information from the website. Uh, only the, the part that, uh, that I need. Apply some smart chunking in order to retrieve, to improve the, the, the chunking because I have seen that depending on the prone and depending on the product, well, uh, I saw some kind of hallucination with some products where the, the URL build or respond why the model is not uh, correct. It does not, does not exist, something that I saw. And uh, well, add metadata to improve the retrieval. The graph is the graph DB store. It is because uh, as we have an application with relationship between items, I find very suitable for that. 
And uh, just something that I, I didn't apply, it is uh, some conversion, conversation memory in order uh, to have uh, some context of the conversation with the customer to be more, well, more friendly in the end because remember all the conversation can, can be better for the customer. And that's all. Wonderful. Yeah.